Welcome back to Raising the Bar. I'm your host, Bryant Mora. This this channel basically, guys, it's geared for personal development, self mastery. How many of us know that we can always work on improving ourselves? And if you're into that kind of stuff, guys, I want to encourage you go ahead and like this video subscribe to the channel and of course uh, hit the bell notification you want to do that because whenever we drop the new content um, we want you to be a part of that ASAP like you should get it as soon as it comes out guys so without further ado we have been reading in the book by Brian Tracy the psychology of selling and so if you're an entrepreneur one of the things that you're gonna have to learn is how to actually sell so we stopped after chapter one we're gonna go now into chapter two <clears throat> and I appreciate you guys uh, reading this with me chapter two set and achieve all your sales goals if I've got correct goals and I keep pursuing them to the best way I know how Everything else falls into line. If I do the right thing, I know I'm going to succeed. And that's from Dan Deerdorf. So let me make this a little bit bigger for us so that we can all see. Top salespeople are intensely goal oriented. In every study, the quality of goal orientation seems to be associated with high levels of success and achievement. The highest paid salespeople know in advance how much they're going to earn each week, each month, each quarter, and each year. They know how many calls they will have to make to achieve a particular level of sales. And they have clear plans about what they're going to do with the money they earn. It is essential for your success that you decide exactly how much you intend to earn each year. If you are not absolutely clear about your earnings target, your sales activities will be unfocused. You will be like a person trying to shoot at a target in the fog. Even if you are the finest marksman in the world, you are not going to hit a target you can't see. You have to know exactly what you're aiming at. Your annual income goal Begin with your annual income goal. How much do you intend to make in the next 12 months? What is the exact number? Write this number down. This becomes the target toward which you orient all your activities throughout the year. You need a goal that is realistic but challenging. Take your highest income year to date and increase that amount by 25 to 50 percent whatever amount you are comfortable with be sure to make your goal believable and achievable ridiculous goals do not motivate you they demotivate you because deep in your heart you know that they are unattainable as a result you will quit at the first sign of adversity Top salespeople in every field know exactly what they are going to earn each year and each part of each year. If you ask them, they can tell you within a dollar what they are aiming at every single day. <clears throat> Excuse me. Low performing salespeople have no idea how much they are going to earn. They have to wait until the end of the year and get their tax forms to find out what happened. For them, every day, month, and year is a new financial adventure. They have no idea where they are going to end up. Put them in writing. To be effective, your goals must be in writing. Sometimes, people are reluctant to write down or to write their goals down on paper. They say, what if I don't make it? You don't need to worry. The very act of writing your goals down increases your likelihood of achieving them by 1,000%. Take 
10 times and usually far faster than you expected. Even if you don't hit your goal on schedule, it is still better for you to have a goal, to have a written goal than to have no goal at all. Your annual sales goal. The second part of goal setting is for you to ask yourself, how much am I going to have to sell this year to achieve my personal income goal? This should not be too difficult to calculate, even if you work on a combination of base plus commission. You should be able to determine the exact sales volume required for you to earn the amount of money that you want. Monthly and weekly goals. Once you have decided your annual income and sales goals, break them down by month. How much will you have to earn and sell each month to achieve your annual goals? Once you have your annual sales and income goals and your monthly sales and income goals, break them down to weekly sales and income goals. How much will you have to sell each week in order to achieve your long-term goals? Daily sales goals. Finally, determine how much you have to sell each day to earn the amount you want to earn each day. Let us say that your annual income goal is $50,000. If you divide 50,000 by 12, you get approximately $4,200 per month. If you divide 50,000 by 50, the number of weeks that you work in an average year it comes out to 1000 per week. Now you have definite, specific targets to aim at. Set clear activity goals. The final step in sales goals is for you to determine the specific activities in which you must engage to achieve your desired sales level. How many calls will you have to make? to get how many appointments with prospects, how many presentations and callbacks will you have to generate to achieve a specific level of sales. When you keep accurate records day by day and month by month, you will soon be able to predict with considerable accuracy exactly what you will have to do each day and each week to achieve your monthly and annual income goals. Let us assume, <clears throat> excuse me, let us assume that you will have to make 10 prospecting calls a day to get sufficient appointments to make enough sales to achieve your goals. Make it a game with yourself to make your 10 prospecting calls before noon each day. Set this as your daily activity target and then discipline yourself to follow through on your plan. Get on the phone by 8 or 8.30 in the morning or get out and cold call if you have to. Whatever you do, force yourself to make your 10 calls before noon every single day until it becomes a habit. You control your sales life. The most important part of planning your activities is knowing that sales activities are controllable. You cannot decide or determine where a particular sale will come from, but you can control the inputs, the activities that you must engage in to achieve the sales in the first place. And by controlling your activities, you indirectly control your sales results. Some days and weeks will be better than others, Sometimes you will make a lot of sales and sometimes you won't make any. Sometimes you will have a dry period and sales slumps. Other times you will sell two or three times as much as you projected. But the law of averages is at work. It is inexo inexorable. In inexorable. <laughs> in inexorable 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 okay if you just keep on making the necessary calls you will eventually make your sales on schedule 
your results may amaze you. In many cases, when you start setting goals for the week, each month and each year, and start working toward them systematically each day, you will hit those goals far faster than you expected. Many of my students set one year goals and hit them in six or seven months. Some people have actually hit their sales goals for the entire year in as little as three months. Whenever you start setting clear, specific goals for every part of your sales life, you will be amazed at the results. Some of my seminar participants have worked for years selling a particular product in a specific market, but they had never set goals before. The first year after they began setting goals, their sales exploded. They suddenly started breaking sales records, even though they were still selling the same product out of the same office to the same people at the same prices. Goal setting made the difference. Tap into your subconscious mind. This happens because the very act of writing a goal programs it into your subconscious mind. Once you have programmed a goal into your subconscious mind, it takes on a power of its own. own. <clears throat> your subconscious mind works 24 hours per day, sleeping and walking, and starts guiding you rapidly toward the achievement of this goal. Once you have programmed a goal into your subconscious mind, it takes on a power of its own. Your subconscious alerts you to opportunities and possibilities around you. It brings you the right ideas for the right things to say. Sometimes in the middle of a sales conversation, once you program a goal into your subconscious mind, it continually motivates you into taking the actions necessary to achieve it. Sometimes your subconscious mind will help you read your prospect's face, giving you a better sense of what to say. Everyone has experienced being in a sales presentation where he simply couldn't make a mistake or say the wrong word. The sales presentation went smoothly from the beginning to end and concluded with a closed sale. Whenever this happens, it is because your mind is perfectly programmed at a subconscious level to enable you to perform at your best in the pursuit of your goals. The right words at the right time. When you feel excellent about yourself, your subconscious mind will give you exactly the right words at exactly the right time. It will make you sensitive to physical cues and verbal cues that will guide you to bring up a subject that you hadn't even thought about. But it will turn out from the customer's point of view to be exactly the right thing to say. You might mention that your company has an excellent reputation for customer service and after sales follow-up, you later learn that this was a prospect's primary concern and was exactly what he needed to hear to buy from you. As previous, previously stated, the average person uses only 10% of his potential. By programming your subconscious mind with clear goals, you gain access to the 90% of your potential that lies beneath the surface, deep in your subconscious mind. You program your subconscious and access it on a regular basis by deciding exactly how much you want to earn and precisely what activities you uh, will have to undertake to earn that amount of money. Set personal and family goals. You also need personal and family goals. These are the reasons why you do what you do. These are the reasons that you get up in the morning and work all day in the face of disappointments and difficulties. The greater clarity you have with regard to your family and personal goals, the more motivated you will be and the faster you will bounce back from temporary failure and rejection. Imagine 
that you could double your income in the next two or three years? If you did, what are some of the things you would change in your life? Make a list of all the things that you would be, have, or do if you were earning vastly more money than you are earning today. The longer the list, the greater your level of motivation and determination. Build a fire under your desire. If you have only one or two reasons for achieving your financial goals, you will be easily discouraged by setbacks and difficulties. If you have 10 or 15 reasons for being successful, you will be more motivated and determined. But if you have 50 or 100 reasons for increasing your sales and your income, you will become virtually unstoppable. When it comes to aggressively selling your product or service, who do you think will be more motivated? Will it be the person with one or two reasons to succeed or the person with 50 plus reasons? The fact is that the more reasons you have, the greater will be the intensity of your desire, like a roaring furnace. The more you want it, the more guaranteed it is that you will do whatever it takes to achieve it. The more reasons you give yourself, the more of your subconscious powers will be available to you in each selling situation. Set 100 goals. Here's an exercise for you. Get a spiral notebook and write down 100 goals that you would like to accomplish in the years ahead. Make a list of everything that you would like to have in your life and everything that you would like to do. Imagine that everything that you write on this list is going to come true to you, is going to come to you at exactly the right time and in exactly the right way. You only have to write it down. As if submitting an order to the great cosmic storehouse of wealth in order to get it. As you think of new things that you would like to have or accomplish, write them in this spiral notebook. You can never have too many goals. A friend of mine who who was just starting in sales began this exercise by writing down more than 350 goals for himself for the years ahead. Every time he read the newspaper or watched television, saw something that he wanted, he wrote it in the spiral notebook. Every week, he read and reviewed his goals and added new ones. <clears throat> Within one year, in a competitive market from a dead start, he became one of the most successful salespeople in the field. He eventually broke every sales record in his industry. He was written up in the newspaper as a sales superstar. He told me privately that writing and reviewing his goals was the primary reason for the motivation and enthusiasm that led to his success. He eventually came to feel that he was unstoppable the number one reason for success in my work with more than 500,000 salespeople throughout the United States and in 25 countries I have found that the commitment to goal setting has been the number one reason for the success of the top people all the highest paid sales professionals in every field are committed goal setters they write and rewrite their goals every day they continually add to their lists. They access and activate their subconscious and superconscious minds. They begin to attract into their lives people and circumstances that help them achieve their goals. Visualize your goals as realized. When you or when used with goal setting, Visualization is perhaps the most powerful skill that you can develop. There is no powerful way to program your subconscious than to create a clear mental picture of the person you want to be and the goals you want to accomplish. The power of visualization is the most awesome power possessed 
by human beings. It is said that all improvement in your life begins with an improvement in your mental pictures. When you visualize, see yourself as calm, confident, and powerful. Envision yourself as successful and influential. Picture yourself as capable and competent in every part of selling. See yourself as absolutely excellent in prospecting, presenting, and closing sales. Before you go into a sales meeting, imagine the prospect responding to you in a positive, enthusiastic way. See him or her smiling and engaged in the sales conversation. Picture especially the prospect signing the sales order or writing out the check. You will be amazed at how often your visualization will turn into reality when you are with the customer. Say it and see it. Your subconscious mind is activated both by pictures and by strong affirmative statements. Each time you say something strongly to yourself, your subconscious mind accepts these words as a command. It then goes to work to bring that command into your reality. The very best all-purpose affirmation is, I like myself. I like myself. I like myself. As I have already shown, each time you say, I like myself, you raise your self-esteem, improve your overall self-concept, and perform more effectively in whatever you are doing, especially in sales. When you repeat an affirmation as a command to your subconscious mind with confidence and enthusiasm, you activate all your mental powers, you increase your energy levels, you feel more positive and you take complete control over your mind and emotions. Say to yourself, I feel happy. I feel healthy. I feel terrific. Repeat this over and over again as you go through your day. Every time you repeat these words, you will feel happier and more confident. Then see yourself as if you felt this way from the bottom to the top at a seminar recently a sales manager told me a story she said her company had hired a young salesman with limited experience they were not sure whether he would be successful but they decided to give him a chance within six months however he was the top salesman in the entire country for that company they sat him down and asked him why he felt he was doing so well, considering that he had never worked in this industry before. How was he outperforming and outselling professional salespeople who had been in the industry for 10 or 15 years? His secret? He was using affirmations and visualization every day. He said every morning when I get into my car, I repeat to myself, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best. I then say, I'm the best salesman in this company. I'm the best salesman in this industry. I'm the best salesman in the business. Before every sales call, I sit in my car and I pump myself up repeating these affirmations. I'm the best in this company. I'm the best in this industry. I'm the best in this country. Create a clear mental picture. This inspiring salesman went on to explain that while he was talking to himself positively, he would create a clear mental picture of himself selling and interacting with the customer exactly as if he was the top salesman in the nation. He imagined the prospect responding to him positively and confidently. He would relax, smile, and enjoy the feeling that he anticipates having when he gets face to face with a customer. While he went on to see the prospect, he radiated with confidence. He was warm, friendly, and self-assured. He was courteous and respectful. 
He created instant rapport with everyone in the company, especially the customer. And customers bought from him in record numbers. Choose your words and pictures. Here is an interesting discovery. Everyone visualizes and talks to themselves continually as they go about their daily business. The difference between top salespeople and average salespeople is the content of their inner dialogue and their mental pictures. Top salespeople think and talk about their best selling experiences in the past. They then imagine that, that they are going to repeat those excellent experiences in the upcoming sales call. Mediocre salespeople visualize and affirm as well. Unfortunately, they think about their most recent negative experiences. They think about wasted time and energy on people who didn't buy. Customers who were rude or indifferent and how disappointed they felt. In either case, by visualizing and affirming, the salesperson is setting himself up mentally to repeat the previous experience. When you create a positive, exciting picture of your very best previous sales experience, your subconscious mind projects that experience like a picture on a screen onto your next sales call. With this clear picture, your subconscious orchestrates your thoughts, feelings, and actions so that you do and say the same things that you did and said before to be so successful. You control your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is neutral. It is like clay. You can shape it any way you want. Your subconscious does not think or decide. It merely obeys your mental commands. When you take full control of your conscious mind and discipline yourself to think and talk about only the things you want, you send clear commands to your subconscious mind to give you the thoughts, words, and actions that will make you successful. Selling like Columbus Many salespeople are what we call Columbus salespeople. When Columbus set off seeking a route to India, he didn't know where he was going. When he arrived in the Americas, he didn't know where he was. And when he got back to Spain, he didn't know where he had been. <laughs> Many salespeople are like this. They set off in the morning with only a vague idea of where they are going. When they arrive at the customer's home or place of business, they say the first thing that falls out of their mouths. And when they arrive back at the office, they are not sure where they have been or what happened. Plan your calls in advance. Top salespeople are different. They think through their sales calls in advance. They go over what they are going to say mentally before they get face to face with the prospect. They practice mental rehearsal, a peak performance technique used by all top athletes, including sales athletes. They prepare mentally for the upcoming meeting. If you were an athlete going into competition, you would never think of arriving at the field or court and then walking straight into the competition. A professional athlete always warms up before going into the field. By the same token, a professional sales people warm up as well by mentally rehearsing so that they can perform at their very best when they get face to face with their customer. Two ways to visualize. There are two ways that you can use visualization to mentally rehearse your upcoming sales performance. The first is direct whereby you see the customer and the sales situation through your own eyes. You are the customer. You, excuse me, you see the customer smiling and responding to you in a positive way. You see him or her agreeing with you and enjoying your company and the sales presentation. This is very effective. The second way you can use visualization is indirectly. 
With this method, you actually stand outside of yourself and see yourself and the customer in the sales situation, exactly as if you were a third party watching from the side. When you use both of these methods, alternatively, seeing yourself from both the inside and the outside, you dramatically improve the quality of your sales presentation and personal performance. See yourself as the best. Continually imagine yourself as the very best in your field. See yourself as one of the highest money earners in your business. Model yourself after the highest paid salespeople in your industry. Walk, talk, and treat others as if you were already a sales superstar. When you see someone else driving a new car or dressed in expensive clothes and wearing an expensive watch, say to yourself, that's for me. You decide that whatever anyone else has accomplished, you can achieve as well. There are no limits. Action exercises. Number one, think big. Set an income goal for yourself for the next year that is 25 to 50% more than you have ever earned before. Number two, Determine how much of your product or service you will have to sell over the next year to achieve your ideal income. Number three, break your income and sales goal down by month, week, and day. Determine the activities you will have to engage in each day to earn the money you have decided that you desire. Number four, plan every day in advance Determine exactly the number of prospects you will have to call, the number of people you will have to see, and the number of sales you will have to make. Number five, set big, exciting goals for your family and your personal life. Make a list of 50 to 100 things that you want to buy and do with the extra money you are going to earn. Number six, make a written plan to achieve your... Number six, Make a written plan to achieve each of your goals and work on your plans every day. Number seven, determine the price you will have to pay in terms of additional work and sacrifice to achieve your most desired goals and then, then begin paying that price. You too can determine what you want. You can decide on your major objectives, targets, aims, and destinations. W. Clement Stone.